we want to take a look at how to add a vendor in QuickBooks Online. You might ask yourself, what is a vendor? So a vendor in QuickBooks Online terms, or really any terms, is anyone that you pay for services of any sort. So whether you buy toilet paper at Walmart, whether you're ordering paper off Amazon, whether you're paying someone to do your accounting work for you, those would all be added as vendors in QuickBooks Online. What is the importance of a vendor? Is well, a lot of times you need to keep track of who you're paying and how much you're paying them. Because you do have the option of, hey, how much did I spend um, on Amazon last year? So you might wanna be able to look and say, well, I spent $955 on, in Amazon maybe last month. <laughs> you also may need to keep track of that for 1099 purposes. I'm not gonna go into what a 1099 is. There are other videos specifying about a 1099, what it is, what you need it for. Check those out, but that could be very important in tracking for vendors. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at how you would go through that in QuickBooks Online. So you're on your dashboard page. This is your dashboard. One of the ways to add a vendor is go to expenses and then go to vendors. And if you already have vendors listed, they're gonna be in here, but we want to add a new one. So we're gonna come over to the right and we are going to select new vendor. You do have the option in here to import vendors. We're not gonna go through that today, but we're gonna add a new one. And so here is where you gotta give it all of its information. First name would be if you're paying an individual or if you wanna put the first name in there of maybe you have a company that you frequently buy from and you wanna make sure you put your contact name of who that is. So you can do all of that. So right now we're gonna put in John Doe and it's gonna be ABC Company LLC. And then you can decide whether you want that displayed as John Doe or ABC Company, however you want it displayed. And then you can also tell it if you're printing checks print on check as, and then use display name, whatever you want to use. And then you want to keep track of your addresses. So you are, we're gonna be in Rolla um, country, totally up to you whether you wanna use that. Notes, that's for your purposes. You can have notes, you can have not have notes. Totally up to you whether you want to use that. Um, email, once again, totally up to you whether you wanna use an email address or not. QuickBooks does have a feature to be able to email things um, out. We'll cover that much later and that gets much more complicated. You can put in their phone number. So you can put that in, put in fax number, any information that you want about this vendor. If it is a person and they are a contractor to you, you still have to enter them as a vendor. You can put in there what their billing rate is per hour. Terms. A lot of times vendors people that you're buying from, they'll send you a bill and on that bill it'll have terms, whether you have to pay them within 10 days or 15 days, 30 days, 60 days. So you can actually put that in here and keep track of it so you know when you need to pay them. So if you've entered a bill for them, it will tell you when that's due based on this information. Opening balance. That is something that you could put in here. If you're just new at QuickBooks Online and you need to get everything set up, maybe you have a previous balance with them, you can enter that here and put the as of date. You can put their account number. So then that way, if you're printing checks out of here, it, will, it can put that account number on there for you. If they do need a 1099 from you, you need to put in their business ID or their social security number here. Once again, check out that other video about whether they need a 1099, but a quick down and dirty would be as if you pay them rent, they are a service to you, and they are a subcontractor to you. Those are keywords in whether they need a 1099, but check out those other videos. And then we would wanna make sure to track payments for 1099s so QuickBooks can help you in getting those done at the end of the year. Another key thing here, it's very helpful, makes your life easier, is this uh, vendor, you can go ahead and tell it what account number, what chart of accounts to use whenever you're paying them. So this could be, we'll just say it's insurance. And then that way, every time you put in something for this vendor, it's automatically going to go ahead and put it to insurance, saves you time. And after that point, you are done. You've got your vendor set up. So you can hit save. 
If you are not wanting to come in here and enter a vendor from the beginning, you do have the option when you are adding transactions from your bank account that you have linked, or if you just go and you're trying to enter a check on the fly, you have the option to enter a vendor on what's called on the fly, like at the time that you're doing it. So actually, let's go ahead and let's go back. Let's enter it through expenses real quick. I just want you to see how you can do that. And we're gonna tell it that we want a new transactions. So we're gonna enter a check. And payee is your vendor, but they're not in here. Let's say that we ordered something from Amazon today and they're not in here. So right here, you can tell it to add new. You can just enter Amazon. You don't have to enter any of that other information if you don't want to, and you can just hit save, or you can click on details and it will bring that vendor window up for you. It's actually a quick and easy way to get vendors in there without having to go to the vendor screen and enter every single one um, in a different screen. Totally up to you how you wanna do it. Either way works, it gets the information in there. So that was how to enter a vendor into QuickBooks Online. Make sure you hit the subscribe button up in the corner and like the video and have a great day.